Hello and welcome to another Waggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So, I would just say Waggy's Reviews, didn't I? But, hey so today I'm reviewing this, Gordon's Pink Gin. But it's uh, ready to drink, which means it's only about 5%. Yep, standard 5% offering for the ready to drink category. Um, and to be fair, I'm not... I don't mind doing doing these reviews when it is like this because you're still getting the pink gin but then you're putting it with tonic and most people, to be fair, drink gin and tonic. Wow, you really get a, 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 that summer berries aroma straight away. So there we go, nice bit of fizz. And the fizz has receded. The pink Tinge to the to the water to the uh, alcohol. Wow. So you definitely get like raspberries and strawberries, summer flavours. Mmm. Right. Bottoms up. Well, I've got to say, that's actually quite nice. Um, what's the tonic? What does it say? No. But yeah, that's actually really nice. And I used to piss out my mates for drinking uh, gin and tonics. Here, puffs. You say, it's a woman's drink. Why are you drinking a woman's drink? And I need to take the mickey. You know, it's, it's all friendly banter between friends. I mean, it says here, to enjoy a perfectly mixed Gordon's Pink and Tonic, fill a large copper glass with ice, add 50 mils of Gordon's Pink, top up with 150 mils tonic and garnish. Oh, to tonic. And garnish with plenty of juicy strawberries. Ooh. I must admit, I do like my rhubarb and gin. Ginger. Gin. Oh dear, bloody weather. Absolutely chucking it down. So yeah, I'm looking at doing a lot more of these ready to drink reviews because to be honest there's a lot out there that I've not done. And it gives me the chance to review Gordon's pink gin without having to go in to buy a 20, 30 pound bottle. Which I can't do, I can't physically do it on the, the, the money that I earn. You know, <clears throat> it's one thing to review beers, wines, spirits, lagers, ciders, etc. But there has to be a cut-off point where you just can't afford um, to keep putting that much money in. I mean, I spend close to 30 quid a week, probably, on different beers and that. And... Uh, um, I mean, I've got a good stockpile, as, as you can see on the beer wall behind me. But, um, you know, you do have to be sensible with, with anything like that. Um, there's only so much you can do. and uh, So, I try and get the new stuff when I see it and that and buy it. And stuff that comes in beer festivals. I mean, I've just done a, um, a drink supermarket beer hall. Um, which will be coming, I suppose, sometime next week. And um, that was £100 I spent. 40 quid on one beer alone. And then a load of other beers that I've never had. And then to finish off, I got some spirits, because there were some spirits going cheap. And I thought, well, why not? And I've got, a fr I've got a two free glasses coming, so... Ah, well, softens the blow, I suppose. So yeah, this wouldn't be the strength that I would normally drink gin. And to be fair, it's probably a good thing for my health. I'm not whacking, you know. I mean, I'd normally put gin in a glass that size anyway and drink the whole lot. Just making sure. Um, 
So yeah, it's it's a good it's a good thing for my health that I'm not being over indulging, and that's the thing, isn't it? You know, it's I don't think it's ever a bad thing to have a drink. Over indulging is the bad thing. Same as well anything, I suppose. Eating, you know, over indulging with eating, eating crap. To be fair, these days, I hardly ever touch chocolates. I love trifles, I used to anyway, but I don't even hardly ever have a trifle these days. Although I've got a nice kit in the house, I must uh, sort it out. I lost what I was going to say then, just for a second. I love the flavours of that. Strawberries, raspberries. There's a hint of red currant in it as well, to be fair. But strawberries, strawberries and raspberries. Oh. And uh, I mean, I love strawberries. You know, I um, as a as an eighteen year old when you know before I met my wife, we'd go downtown as in the you know lads. Go into it. There's a brown <coughs> Browns wine bar in uh, the in Hockley, and uh, quite a decent area, you know, to go drinking. And uh, that, even then, I mean, that was I was 18, so nearly 31 years ago now. Wow, old bastard. Um, pardon my French. I do apologise for swearing. Um, and I got a bottle of strawberry wine. I'm sure it was fizzy, and it was eight quid a bottle. Eight quid back then. But at that stage, I, when I was 18, I was loaded. Got more spare money than that. I do have now. I mean, that was when Notting Nottingham City Council, we used to do unlimited hours in the summer. So time and half and double time. Um, and in the summer months when we're planting the bed now, that's when we've got all the major overtime. And I used to work from five in the morning till ten at night. And that's grafting. Obviously a lot of watering, because you plant stuff, you've got to water it. You know, you can't just plant. I mean, you could at the moment with this rain. But um, you couldn't just plant and leave it. You have to water, because plants suffer without water. Um, and then we actually put in an automated watering system just before I left. But yeah, they were they were good days and the amount of hours and that's when actually when I met my wife doing long days and uh, first she worked in the ice cream kiosk and uh, spoke to her. She was only covering somebody on a day off and she, you know chatted to her and uh, it's the only woman in my life who I've actually gone after. All the other anybody else I've been out with, it's just. You know, there was nothing in it really, but um, yeah, she's the only one I actually went after. And then we went, brought the dog on, she brought Max on, our dog. <laughs> Sitting on the arbor. So I'd, 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 there were some nights where I'd be patrolling. So I'd do a full day at work, and then I'd be patrolling the park. So you walk around litter picking and that. Uh, Make sure no one's being an idiot watching out for perverts because there was lots of perverts on the Arboretum. It, it attracted them. A lot of them sort of parks do. Uh, blokes trying to get off with other blokes, you know. Women trying to get off with blokes, all sorts of stuff. Uh, glue sniffers, we used to have that in the back in the day. And uh, yeah, she used to bring Max on and we'd talk. And it got to the stage where our friends actually said she fancies you and uh you know it got to the state you get you go well, maybe we went out to watch um a robbie coltrane movie the pope must die i'm sure that's it and we watched the movie we had some dickheads in front of us pissing about it's funny how you remember certain things in life and i walked back to uh to where mum and dad lived um on north sherwood street in nottingham next to the hole in the wall pub And uh, then I asked her out, and uh, she said yes, thankfully. Whew. Horrible thing into asking people out. Fucking hell, I'd hate to do it these days. 
you know, I'd hate to be single again. Then these days you just text him, wouldn't it? So, do you want to grow out of me then? And you get a no or a yes, but in them days, obviously, it's the old fashioned way. He said yes, and uh, you know, we've been going out ever since. And uh, on July the 11th, which it says here on my clock, you can't see, I know, but um, yeah, we've been going out for. We've been married for 22 years. We've been going out for 29 years. What's well, 29 years and a few months now? And we've never had a real full blown argument. We've had a few little tiffs, but who doesn't? Um, and we compliment each other so well. And, uh, you know, despite all the anxiety I've suffered over the years, I. Uh, Problem is with me, I care too much, and uh, other people would be like, "Fuck it." But me, I care too much about work and that, and doing the right sort of work. Other people switch off. They go to work, they switch off, finish work, go home. That's it. Yay! Me, I don't, unfortunately. So, back to the uh, Gordons. Oh, Gordon. And the interesting thing with this for me is that the gin, the taste of the gin, overrides the tonic massively. But it's only 5%. So, uh, well done, Gordons. You know, um, online, I did Captain Morgan the other day. And uh, you really, the cola overrid the, the, um, <clears throat> the rum. Although, in my measure of rum, it would never have overrid it. Oh, I'm loving it. It's a taste of summer. You might be chucking it down outside. And as miserable as you can get. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's a nice taste of summer. And I'm actually feeling quite chilled as well. I'm actually chilly as well, which is another thing. Froz inside. Well, for me, all about the summer. Uh, a lovely taste of summer. And yes, I used to take the mickey out of my mates drinking gin. But fair play, that tasted really nice. It hit the spot. Um, for me, I talk about Raggy Avenue and uh, Raggy Avenue are beers or whatever, drink, alcoholic drinks that really get you. And um, obviously, we are all individuals. We, we like certain drinks, we hate certain drinks. You know, it's fair play. Certain drinks are boring as hell. And certain drinks astound you. And this, this was amazing. Um, a, a true taste of summer. And it hit all the spots but that I would want to be hit. It was absolutely bob on the money. Um, out of five. For me, 4.65 out of five. Absolute beautiful. Did what it says on the can. Well on the site and uh, I got all the taste that I was meant to get um, I can't fault it at all although if I ever was going to get a full bottle the tonic side of things would be a bit less it'd be instead of being five percent it'd be about 25 percent but that's just me being a bit more greedy on the alcoholic side so as always thank you for watching thanks for subscribing we're getting there, we're nearly there to doing live reviews. And uh, it'll be good in some ways because I won't have to keep uploading the buggers to the computer. Drives me insane, which is why I started doing live reviews. Because uh, not just for the element of talking to people, you know, live and getting feedback live, but um, yeah, it was a lot easier. And you know, you get to work all day and then you do the review, then you have to upload it. 
and then you have to wait for the pro you have to up upload it onto the computer then you have to upload it to YouTube then you have to wait it for, wait it for to upload and then process and it's like you know what I mean and to do it live wow and obviously if you know if you know um, that none of my videos are edited I don't edit nothing what you see is what you get if I say something I shouldn't be saying then I've said it and that's as simple as that I've never turned off I've never deleted one video um, and thought ooh I was a bit wrong there you know well I have been, I, I have said some things I shouldn't have said and uh, you know but we're all humans aren't we we all say some things we're not like Donald Trump who says things on a regular basis talks out of his arse and gets away with it some of his supporters must be fucking they're so blind And that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Oh. Hello.